Hey guys, it's Colio. Plans for getting two. Still thinking about breakfast, but we got a little another sh episode to go before that. Uh, so we pick up uh, during the conference. Annabelle has just began it, or begun it. I don't know. Began I, either way. Jess, the Highland Army is massed at our border. They have only two weeks provisions with them. We believe they'll attack soon. Wait a moment. Aren't they still in compliance with the peace agreement? The Highland Army has already invaded the eastern part of Meuse and burned several villages to the ground along the way. Grudo. As for that, didn't Highland reply that that was a trick by the mountain bandits? Grand Mayor. Do you really believe that Victor's mercenary army could be crushed by a group of mountain bandits? Hauser, you can't deny that the Highland Army is massed at the border. It is a fact, and this represents a threat to the city-state. Gustav, the Highland Army has approached the border before, and they've never truly attacked. Why should this be any different? Teresa, the commander of the Highland Army has changed from Agarra's Blight to his son, Prince Luca Blight. That's why things are different. Oh, so you can't pay your annual rice offering for three years, but your mouth still works fine, I see. How dare you? It is just as Lord Gustav said. They'll run at the first sign of battle. I'm certain... I'm certainly not going to expend my nights for this. The people of Two River are also tired from many battles. Luca Blight is more demon than man. If he breaks through Muse's defense, it says, <laughs> the state will be in shambles. In the name of our mutual oath, I order you to provide troops to protect Muse City, capital city of the city-state Jalston. I'm not afraid of your threats. What good is it if I protect Muse and my people the people of Tinto starve. That's an order in the name of the state. You should watch how you speak, Lord Gustav. Excuse me. I have news to report. The Highland Army has slaughtered our border guards, and they're reportedly headed for Muse. What? It appears they were serious. You all heard. I'm ordering all of you to gather your armies. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. No. Anybody else lingering around? Nope. Can't go this way. So that was pretty interesting, huh? You think so? Looked just like uh, looked like a, just a bunch of old men were talking to me. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. I guess you're right. Man, I'm tired out from just sitting in there. Let's head to Leona's place. So I guess it wasn't a festival. No one is allowed past this point. What about this point? No one is allowed past that point either. Okay, <laughs> good to know. the right place. I keep wanting to go in there, but it's actually the one below it with the sign. Yeah, it's Apple. Hey, what a surprise. I was watching the meeting too. It was rough, but you did well. Well, just part of my job. Nobody's giving full cooperation, but nobody wants anyone destroyed by Highland either. 
So what is it? You didn't come here to make a small talk? <laughs> Victor, I need you to somehow slow down the Highland Army. It will take seven days to gather all of the state forces, but the Highland Army will arrive here in five days. Two days would be enough. Please just buy us two days. Two days? We battle outside Muse and maybe bl bloody their noses a little. Yeah, I think I can buy you two days. You'll never change. You ask for crazy things like they're nothing. The idea of us alone trying to stop that look of blight. I'm counting on you, Victor. Also, we'll be expecting reinforcements from the Matilda Knights to arrive early. Well, if it's just slowing them down, I think I can handle it. Thanks, handsome. <laughs> well, er, hey, that's my job. Plus, if it's a request from a fine lady like you, I can never refuse. <laughs> um, please let us fight with you. Joey, Don, it was wrong of me to get you guys involved in this whole mess. Forgive me. But you don't need to do any more than you already have. This is a problem for us adults. No, we want to help. We want to fight. We'll help you slow down the Highland Army, Don. You'll fight too, won't you? This is the problem with having young protagonists. Well, I, of course. Don, Joey, Nami, don't get yourself killed. When the battle is over, come back and visit me. I'll tell you all about Master Ginkaku. Okay, yes, this. Well, I've got to get back. Victor, do a good job for us. I know you will. Yeah, well, you're right. Hey, hey. Wake up, Don and Joey. Everyone's meeting outside. I'm already awake, Nanami. Actually, I couldn't sleep. So we're getting uh, some battle? I like battle. Let's do battle. The Highland Army advances forces. Oh, <laughs> whoops. The Highland Army advanced forces are close. If we can beat them, we'll have done our job. Our job isn't to defeat the entire Highland Army. If we can slow them down, it'll be enough. But remember, if we don't protect Muse and it falls to Highland, it's all over. So give it all you've got. Everyone, gird yourselves for battle. We'll go when preparations are complete. Huh. Okay. Be careful, Don. Hey, are you all ready? Uh-oh, not yet. Okay. Hey, don't be so nervous. Who else do we have fighting with us? Welcome. Will you be staying for the night? No, I don't need to stay, but I, I might need to save because I don't want anybody dying in this fight if I can help it. So we'll do that real quick. Is hiding behind here. You don't have to worry, Polika. We'll come back safe and sound. So, is there anything else I'd want to do besides this? I can't think of anything. Good luck. Oh, maybe there's something. Oops, oh, sorry about that. Maybe there's something else going on outside. Maybe we'll meet Clive and Elsa again. I don't know. So many maybes. I don't know. I'm so skeptical. I don't think there's anything new. I don't just happen to wander into something. Guess I can look at my inventory a little. Um, okay, rare finds. That's something. Don't want it. Okay. Uh, bandana. Better for Nanami. 
these are better just because I've got medicine in my inventory. But outside of that, it's probably not better. We have something to sell. Antitoxin we can get rid of. Hang on to that escape thing with this bandana. That's useless. The fire ceiling could be useful. But only in certain situations, right? I think mostly it probably wouldn't be that useful. Like, it, yeah, it could be good for like one boss battle in which fire is a thing, but I, I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't see myself using it, to be honest. Shining crystal ball. Where did we pick this up? Oh, because, yeah, it's a trade item. We do have a book that's unidentified. That's something we could do. I don't know if it'll be anything new. It's just something you have to appraise. I really wish I had like a storehouse so I can drop some of this stuff off. Oh man, this is the <laughs> wrong place again. I gotta stop going in there. This is the doctor's office. Um, it's not that one. It's the one right above it. Right here. It's not that big of a town. There we go. And the book. Uh, this is book volume four. There we go. We got two, four, five, and six. Okay. So it was a brief tour of the town, and I didn't see anybody new. Unless they're at the entrance now. People may be saying new things. Nope. Okay. Forget it. Let's go into battle. Oh, people moved around a little. Yep. Good. We're just about ready. Prepare for combat. I can see the Highland Army's advanced troops. Solon J. It's that guy, Victor, again. This time I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Don't worry. All we've got to do is slow them down. If we can defeat Solon G's unit, or by enough time, they should retreat. So we've either got to waste enough time. Don, are you used to command yet? It's been a while. We gotta waste enough time or take out the leader. We've given you two state reinforcement units to command. Good luck. Okay. So who's this guy way out here? Gilbert. I think I should like go ahead and move in on him or just stay here? That's a good question. I guess I'll wait. Do we have the fire spears? Bright shield. Heals surrounding allies. Heals damage. Okay, incredible. I guess we'll wait. We can only move one at a time, so they're not going to get too far ahead. How should we set up? I kind of feel like maybe we'll move back a little. That guy out there is going to end up getting killed, though, by himself. Maybe I'm supposed to rush forward and save him. Gilbert. Hey, Flick. See someone you recognize? Gilbert, is it? I can't believe he's working for Highland. Do you know him? If only you could get him to switch sides. throw a fire spear on him first thing. <laughs> I wonder if we have to defend this spot. I don't know. Let's move forward. So 
So I'm guessing we're gonna get to recruit that guy then, maybe. Miklatov. I keep calling him Milk. <laughs> Miklatov. I am Miklatov, captain of the Blue Knights of Matilda. I'm here to assist Sir Victor of Muse. So we got some cavalry. Oh yeah, we can move over for us then. Gilbert! How can you fight for Highland? Da, 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 da. Have you become the kind of man who can sit idly while villages burn and children die screaming? Well, have you? Talk. kind of learn um, how this works. Seems like cavalry are definitely better against infantry, which makes sense. I'm guessing the archers would be good against cavalry, maybe? Not so good against cavalry, I don't know. What happens when they're archer cavalry? <laughs> or mounted archers? Ah, there's a lot of questions there. Uh, this is my unit. We'll move up. I can't do anything yet because I'm not in a good position. I guess it's a good idea to attack with the ones that don't have faces on it, right? Because if they get wiped out, I'm not losing any people. Well, here's archers versus infantry. Doesn't seem to be that effective. Sounds like a bunch of children attacking. <laughs> oh wow, that was a stomp. Ah, set them on fire too. I wonder if there's any way to talk to Gilbert like myself. You've lost your touch. Why are you worthless, girl? How about it, Gilbert? Why don't you join our side? A proud warrior like you shouldn't take money from a scum like Luca Blight. I guess this is fate. Okay, I'll do it. Woo, he's on our team now, but he's still hurt. Lord G, the mercenaries. Gilbert, you dare betray us. <laughs> Sorry, I'll send you a refund. <laughs> if you survive this battle. Listen, if I waited out long enough, um, Milk dude is just gonna overrun that guy up there. <laughs> he seems to be doing pretty well outside of that attack. And I'm not too sure how well my attacks are gonna work. Okay, so I can attack this guy. Should I do that? I should use a fire spear. No, I don't have fire spear. I have a healing thing. Which would be good if I could get in position to heal both of those. So maybe I'll just attack. Oh, we got 
one of them. I don't think I did much. Oh, we can team up on this guy. I wonder if it'll have any effect just surrounding him. <laughs> Didn't go very well. Lord Don, if your unit is damaged, move it back to the village. Units on top of towns or castles have their damage repaired. That's good to know. See, and then that one had no effect. This game's got a lot more emphasis on these battles. It seems. Even though we've only had like three. But they're a lot more complicated than the first game. Attack six, defense eight. Eight and eight. So I won't even be able to attack anybody with this round, so healing doesn't seem like a bad idea. Oh, it heals a big square of people. Why well, should have stayed where I was standing? It's not gonna affect the enemies though. It looks like they get darkened. Right? So yeah, this should be good then. Yeah. Cool. And that's it with that one. But this guy can continue trying to assault this guy. Which has no effect. So that was five attack and four defense first. Seven and nine. Maybe they can't attack. I mean, they can't do any damage just because this guy's defense is too high. While this guy being 11. Uh, don't do that. While this guy being 11 can attack this thing. So I should stick with things that they can attack. Five. Which isn't much, really. <laughs> but I'll move over. Okay. At least I made sure nobody's gonna die, hopefully. We probably shouldn't have let that happen. I don't know if it's a losing condition, but he's definitely on a good spot. <laughs> ah, it's Camus. Miklatov, Commander Gerudo, orders us to withdraw our forces immediately. What are you saying, Camus? Our knights should turn, should turn our backs on the enemy and run? It's a knight's duty to follow the orders of his liege lord. Have you forgotten your oath? I have a feeling Gerudo's on the wrong team. 
Damn. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> What's the matter with them? They're not going to defend Muse? It looks like someone is up to something nasty. Oh, up to some nasty tricks there. If Muse falls, next it'll be your necks on the line. Yeah, it's sort of terrible position too, because they took our town. And on that space, I don't know if we can do anything. <laughs> Nobody has an attack high enough to even damage this guy. Or at least not on us. One of them could do it. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Apple is so annoying. Leave me alone. Right, maybe I can kill this guy. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just kill one guy. Go and try and insult him. This guy's hurt. Those two are as well. Let's get in the forest. Maybe that'll help. Ah, today was just a greeting. Tomorrow your head will be decorating the walls of this city. Well, I guess we held out for long enough. Well, try it if you're, you've got the guts. I guess I could have gone worse. We managed to recruit somebody. We didn't lose anybody. Somehow, we managed to slow them down. You all fought well. Now everyone gets some rest. If I can actually get some rest without talking to them. <laughs> yeah, seems like it. I hope they didn't skip anything. But yeah, anyway, um, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later.